Hi everyone, it's Olga from Olga's Flavor Factory. Do you have a signature dessert that you like to make for company or to bring along with you when you're visiting friends or family? Well, today I'm sharing one of mine. These chocolate shortbread bars with a creamy ricotta filling are one of my favorites to make and they're always a huge hit whenever I do them. They're really easy to put together. They look amazing, so chocolatey and rich and absolutely just melt in your mouth. They're awesome. The ingredients we need are for the chocolate shortbread and for the creamy filling inside. So for the chocolate shortbread, we need some butter that needs to be at room temperature then some sugar, some melted chocolate that's melted and slightly cooled off, and then some cocoa powder, all-purpose flour, a little bit of salt, and some vanilla extract. And then for the filling, we're gonna use ricotta cheese, an egg, some sugar, and vanilla extract. The main part of this recipe is based on a shortbread batter, which is kind of like a shortbread cookie dough. It's very buttery, very tender, just melts in your mouth. So I made a chocolate shortbread recipe and it doesn't have any leavener. There's no baking powder or baking soda in here and it doesn't need it because there's so much butter in here when it's mixed together with the sugar, it becomes really airy and that's what makes these cookies so tender that it doesn't need any extra baking powder. I'm gonna start by mixing the room temperature butter with the granulated sugar and we're gonna mix that up until it's very fluffy and airy and it's about three to five minutes and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. When the butter and sugar are pale and fluffy, we're gonna add the melted chocolate, make sure it's cooled off slightly, and then we're gonna add the vanilla extract, mix that all together. And lastly, we're gonna add the all-purpose flour and the cocoa powder. The cocoa powder, a lot of times, is really clumpy, so I'm gonna put that through a sieve to get all of the clumps out and mix all of this together until all of the flour is incorporated. Don't over mix the batter because we don't want it to get too tough. So I finished mixing it together with a spatula and now I'm gonna take part of this, about two cups, and I'm gonna put it into the freezer so it gets harder because we are going to grate it on top of the bars later. So we're gonna put some in this bowl and the rest of it we're going to spread out on this baking sheet. Mmm, smells so good already. I can really smell the chocolate. <laughs> okay, so two cups, and that's gonna go in my freezer. Just like that. You see, it doesn't really stick to my fingers when I'm touching it but it's gonna be way too hard to grate because it's really soft. So I'm gonna put it in the freezer so that way it gets harder and it'll be easier to grate. The rest of this batter I'm going to take and put into this baking dish. It's 13 by nine inches and we are going to just spread it out evenly. That's gonna be the bottom crust. While I'm waiting for that chocolate shortbread to chill, I'm gonna make the filling. And I'm using some ricotta cheese. So you can use cottage cheese, farmer's cheese, cream cheese for this. It's all gonna work. If you use cottage cheese, make sure to drain it first though. So we're gonna mix that up with an egg, some vanilla, and some sugar. Very, very simple. So just mix it until all of the ingredients are evenly mixed. And that's that. We're just gonna pour it over this chocolate shortbread crust. The dough is nice and chilled, so I'm gonna take it out of the bowl and grate it on a box grater. So I'm using these large holes and then just go over top of the filling. And the middle part of it is still a little bit uh, soft, so you might have to put it back in the freezer. 
but the edges are nice and cold. It's ready to go in the oven, so I'm gonna bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 50 minutes. The chocolate shortbread bars are out of the oven and they smell so good. I wish I could dig in right now, but you need to let them cool off just a little bit at least before you start cutting into them. Otherwise it's gonna be kind of messy. So we're gonna let them cool, test our patience, and then finally dig in. The chocolate shortbread crust is really buttery and tender and just melts in your mouth. The ricotta filling is so creamy and it pairs really nicely with that sandy crust and the topping. Using a box grater for the chocolate topping distributes it evenly and makes those long strips rest lightly on top. I love the cheese filling that's sandwiched in the middle. It's just the perfect combination. For some reason, everyone always calls these brownies and I can kind of see why it resembles it. And then it's so chocolatey and creamy. I just love this recipe. It's one of my favorites that I've created over the years. So I hope you give it a try. I think it just might become one of your favorites too. Go to Olga's Labor Factory to get the principal recipe and give it a try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it good?